the future. Two thousand and fourteen. Can you believe we're only one year away from the future that was showcased in the classic Back to the Future Part Two? I was in the first grade when that movie came out in 1989. That was also the year my parents bought a home video camera, and you know the kind, right? The giant shoulder-mounted VHS. It's funny what a tool like that, in the possession of a kid with a big imagination, can inspire. I often spent many days daydreaming about hovering skateboards, or hoverboards as they were called in the film, or self-lacing sneakers, but you know, I also spent a lot of time thinking about my own future and where I would be in 2015. I used to do the math in my head. 1982, 2015, I'll be, be 33. I, what, what was I going to be doing? Would I be married? Would I have children? Would I actually be able to attain some of these pipe dreams that I had as a kid with a VHS camcorder? And I think I'm on the right track. My name is Richard Henry, you can call me Ricky. I've been a professional in the creative workforce since around the turn of the century. I graduated with honors from the Institute of Art and Photography with a degree in commercial art, but my passion and willingness to learn um, you know, has kept me on my toes. I've never stopped learning. Learning isn't a zero-sum activity. I've always aimed to be sort of the master of every trade that I've cared to pick up. And you can say my career probably started when I discovered that I could produced my very own public access TV show as a kid. If you see this kid back here, 16 years old, that's me, hosting my own B-movie theater show, and uh, yeah, those clothes are kind of terrible. But yeah, I cut my teeth early on, um, working for a promotions company called Procore. It was a great experience. I got to work with corporate clients like Coca-Cola, Sara Lee, designing everything from promotional apparel, souvenirs, editing radio spots, and uh, even designed this uh, nifty bobblehead back here. The next chapter came in the form of teaching at Antonelli, where I spent around five years in the classroom giving back, training students, uh, made my way up to department chair, and was really instrumental in sort of reshaping the curriculum, moving it away from more of the, some of the print-based stuff and adding motion graphics and video editing. In 2011, I was awarded the Teacher of the Year, probably one of my proudest moments so far. And uh, I'm still on the advisory committee, still substitute teach when I can. Um, teaching, you know, was a big part of my career. Um, you know, jobs used to come across my desk. You know, they'd say, hey, pass this job along to your students. And uh, one day a job came along, and uh, that was the job at WKRC. And I did not pass that along to my students. I kept it for myself and uh, have worked there for two years, and it's been tremendous. It's been awesome. Um, I've absorbed a lot of knowledge and experience in the two years I spent in the creative department and um, now I just feel like I'm ready to leap forward. I'm ready to try new things, reach new goals and uh, in what little free time I have I find myself sort of constantly creating. Um, I self-published a children's book. I put out a handful of graphic novels and even host my own web-based show. Thanks for taking the time to watch and enjoy this montage of my most recent work and here's hoping that uh, we'll be writing hoverboards before too long. Take care.
have to be on high alert to make sure she is again unsuccessful in reaching planet Earth.